Hello everybody, welcome back to the Excel Dashboard Analytics course. We're now at chapter 8 of our professional series and today we're going to cover data spark lines. Okay, not many of you have heard of data spark lines perhaps when you're talking about Excel or Excel dashboards, but believe it or not, data spark lines can be something pretty fancy to add into your Excel dashboards to give it a more professional, classy look inside. Okay, so in this chapter, I'm going to be running through what exactly are data spark lines, how to use them, and how to incorporate these data spark lines into your Excel dashboards, and finally, how to customize and format your own data spark lines. Okay, so let's dive right into Excel. And here's a set of data that we, we have been working on. Now, in order to create your data spark lines, let's quickly first create a pivot table. Insert pivot. Let's go. Okay, once you've got your pivot table up, say for instance, we want to take a look at all the various products sold in the respective years. Whoops, sorry. And uh, let's just draw out the sales volumes, okay? And let me just do a bit of formatting here. Okay, so we've got accessories, laptops, smartphones, and tablets. And these are the, the various uh years here 2017 2018 2019 2015 and 2016 okay let me just pull 2015 here and 2016 here okay so it looks in or it looks in order yeah 2015 2016 2017 2018 and 2019 now we want to in insert our data spark lines how do we do that all right very simple click on insert click on Go to the column on spark lines, click on line, you have, you have line spark line, you have column spark line, and you have win loss spark line, right? These are basically all mini charts that are going to fit within the cell. So let me just show you an example. I draw out the data from 2015 all the way to 2019, and I click OK. There we go, the spark line for accessories. So I just scroll down and mirror it across for laptops, smartphones, and tablets, and I have my smart line my spark lines okay so you can copy and paste this into a existing dashboard it's really very simple you can also customize the format of that okay how do you customize the format very simple go to design in excel you have i would say a fair selection of various color schemes you can choose from you can choose orange you can choose red you can choose brown it's up to you i would just go for the simple blue one and I like to add markers so it's clearer where exactly how many data points do we have. So in this case, you see that we have five years, 2015, 2016, 2017, 2018, and 2019. We therefore have five data points there and it's showing as the markers. Now you can actually customize all of this. Go to design, go to marker color. You can change it. Maybe you want to do it black in color spark line color maybe you choose red in color and it looks like that okay you can customize just the way you want it okay earlier we look at column spark lines if you want to change the column spark lines you can do it as well yeah so this is in in a red color version you can do negative points as red and positive points as green but in this case everything is showing here as positive numbers so so that's uh basically all showing as green yeah but what is the purpose of spark lines basically it's basically to show a trend okay and um, whether you use the column spark lines or the line spark lines it's very simple you want to show a trend across your data points in this case it's best represented whether is it a year-on-year -year basis or we can actually do a month-on-month -month basis version as well let me show you instead of years let's go down to the months okay Whoa, months is a little bit small. Uh, months. Okay. Whoops. Okay, maybe just the first six, uh, first ten months. Huh? Okay, maybe less than that. The screen is a little bit small just want to show you we can do it with months as well and I want to create instead of products maybe I go and choose my relationship manager and I want to see a tre the trend of my relationship managers sales revenues across this entire period 
Okay, maybe I just want to look at the year of 2019. Okay, so let's say I just look at 2019. And same thing, go to insert, go to line, and pull out the data from here. Okay. And there we go. Just drag and drop it down. And you have it there. Okay, let me just adjust and show you accordingly. So 2019, January, February, March, April, May, June, July. These are all the trends of the various relationship managers. Okay, very simple, very easy. Hope this session has been useful for you. Any questions, just feel free to let me know or you can just rewatch the video as well. I believe this would be very helpful. Okay, I'll see you in the next chapter. See you.